what I don't like about us as a nation mm -hmm. is that we're too concerned of what everybody thinks. Right, I am live with Jonathan Oz, the political advisor in Likud. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. I know, yeah, I know this is, it's a nervous place to be when you're, when you're opposite a guy painting your portrait. Yeah, yeah, especially that. I think I look better when my, my mouth is shut and, uh, <laughs> and not smiling, but um, I'll try my best. Nah, you look great, and I really do appreciate it. So first of all, uh, we just had a wonderful conversation with Adam Scott Bellos, from JNS, uh, he does uh, what's it called? Uh, Wine with Adam on JNS, and he also is the CEO of uh, the TIFF. And, and we had a very fun political discussion on ILTV's Insider. Shameless plug. And uh, you know, for, you know, how'd you feel? Did you like it? Yeah, it was nice. I mean, it wasn't too much of an argument because uh, I guess both me and Adam are from the same sort of political side but um but i think that uh the main difference is that um he focused more on like the image uh i think that is th th that maybe american viewers get of what mm. happens here even though he he does have his contacts in the, in the parties but still and uh, my perspective is a bit different because I I'm not familiar too much with what the Americans, like Jewish Americans or just Americans, uh, see uh, about this all this term of negotiations. But um, I but I speak day, night, and midnight, and morning, and any time about what's going on, and um, and with other journalists and with other, with the politicians. With, and, you know, I'm all into that in a way that um, a lot of what's going on now is just a spin game. Everybody knows that. And it's more, I mean, all these concerns about Ben Gvir and Smokovic are very right. nice, but it, they will be ministers anyway. So Right. Well, and there's, there's also the, the talk about at the end of the day, it is a democracy. There is a majority rule yeah. and not every crazy thing that any politician would want to do is necessarily going to become law that's true but i you know i think that if you look at basically most of the things that they want have nothing to do with laws they have more to do with what the government actually does. I mean, if you look at Itamar Benkve, which I, I mean, I didn't vote for him, mm -hmm. and I'm not part of his... <laughs> Who'd you vote for? You're a Likud party. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <Did> you... yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. I mean, I didn't vote for him, but I understand people that voted for him because of the internal security situation in, especially in yeah. the South and the North and other places in, in, in Israel. And, you know, I understand them. I mean, I mean, I think uh, now that we're after the elections, I'm quite free to say that we we had our failures. I mean, we, we weren't perfect, and I, but I think it got worse uh, the recent year and a half, and that's one of the biggest triggers for any everything that happened these elections. Hmm. And uh, I, I think that that's the reason that nobody, I mean, all this campaign of oh my god what will happen to the lgbt community i mean come on i'm a gay person myself i mean and i, I it's such a nonsense to you, speak about you don't that. you don't believe the hype that yeah. that your no. rights will be no 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 not mm -hmm. at all i think it's a perfect country for gay people and i think i would agree with that <laughs> yeah and I, and I think that all this hype is I mean, when it was before the election, so I said, okay, they're just having a campaign. But now it's just nonsense. It's not even a campaign. There's no point. Does it, does it, I mean, it, it's like we both just said, really, that there's only so much you can do when you're part of a coalition government, yeah. right? But at the same time, does it bother you to do business with people who are, you know, who are speaking for conversion therapy, or, uh, or, you know, I mean, all Look, sorts of uh, um, problematic issues. Yeah, yeah, but you know, 
the only person in this wide coalition speaking of these things is one guy right uh, named Avi, Avi Moz I mean and of course in my personal opinion Avi Moz can I don't know <laughs> bad say, words okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> right. no, no. Yeah, you can look for me in the sands of Rishon Lezion right here nearby and look where, I'm, uh, look where I am but um he won't influence anything in this fear. I mean, it's all... He's just, he, he's just one guy, and the people that voted for him didn't vote for him alone. They voted for him as part of a party, and I think that... If well, they he, also likely and, didn't and, vote on that issue. Exactly, because... So, so if he ran alone, not only he wouldn't reach the threshold, he wouldn't even reach one mandate. So that's, that's just about that. Right. I mean... And I don't like that, but I think that if you look at the states, you have many more anti-gay people in um, U.S. Congress than just one Avi Maoz, right? Isn't it? You're not wrong. That's I mean, and that's something that I know the states are kind of fighting with right now. Definitely. So I think if if there's something I'm a bit sick of is that people are trying to import American issues into Israel mm -hmm. uh, yes like the abortion debate I mean it's just not it's something that 99% of Israelis never debate it's not an issue in Israel it never has been so um, I respect the debate but it's just not an issue not in Judaism and none anyway so uh, people are trying very forcefully to import uh, debates on family values. I don't have. I don't think that Israel has any problem with two less uh, families or not enough children. Okay, so uh, I, I think I genuinely think that. Yeah, um, I understand the concerns. I I don't argue with feelings. Right. right? Yeah. The well, feelings you are can't, feelings. you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't argue with them, but this campaign feels a lot more than just a feeling because I think that the people that lead it and that are focused on, sorry, uh, <laughs> that are focused on these, um, oh my God, they will take all the gays to concentration camps. That's camping. ridiculous. Yeah, as far I mean, as Israel is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they know it's ridiculous. It's not that they're really. They, Concerned, it's not that they really feel that that's what good, what's going to happen. It's just they want to say something of how bad and terrible this government is, and that's their way. So fine, but I, I can respect an internal campaign. But when it comes to people pleading to the international community of what's going on, nothing's going on here. Right. Nor will it. Yeah. Nor will it. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And. And you can see that even Itamar ben which raises so many concerns, he says nothing of such. I mean, he's all peace and love, yeah, so to speak. <laughs> so to speak. It's a good qualifier at the end there, yeah. I mean, it, yeah, it, it's, a, it's an interesting... It's something that I always have struggled with growing up in America, and I know that you had your time as a young man yeah. in America as well, yeah. that conveying to Americans what it is that Israel really is. And I think that they just have such a huge... Pro I mean, part of it, of course, is how we're portrayed in the media. I know I have friends who um, their family didn't want them to come to my wedding a couple years ago because they were like, oh, well, it's not safe. And I said, you know, you're safer here than you are pretty much anywhere, um, statistically speaking. Yeah. Like, you know, and, and that's... It, it's that same thing. What is it that perceptually you think that Amer Americans and not just Americans, just don't get about Israel. I think they don't get that um, it, it, it comes... Uh, on one hand, Israel is very small, okay? It's a lot smaller than the deal it makes, mm -hmm. right? That's right. one thing they don't get. On the other hand, they don't realize how small it is. And they oh, don't yeah. realize um, that uh, when they talk... I mean, I think not Americans, but uh, like other, uh, especially Europeans, uh, I found it hard to, to, to emphasize for them that um, 
you can't look at Judea and Samaria or the West Bank or whatever as colonies or colonization since if we take my car now and drive I mean it's rush hour but not <laughs> rush hour. Yeah, in a couple days then we'll get to where we're going <laughs> yeah yeah but in like in later in later this night it will take just 20 minutes to get to the green line so uh, or uh, which is what many people expect us to make our border mm -hmm. so if they realize that I think they will look they will they would look um, at things a bit differently uh, but I think that what I don't like about us as a nation mm -hmm. is that we're too concerned of what everybody thinks mm. and I think that's a problem of our nation maybe because of all the diaspora years but um, well, well and also because we're we have a lot of olim we have a lot of international people here who I, I for one you know same like on the one hand I love that I, on the one hand I agree with you that Israel should do what's best for Israel and forget what the rest of the world thinks. On the other hand, we are a global economy. We're a global power. We work with yeah. other people and we are comprised of a lot of different people from a lot of different places. Yeah, but you see that if we take as an example the Abraham Accords mm -hmm. and the way that they were uh, reached, it's it, it, they weren't reached from uh, a point of uh, all this um, weakness competition that many people are uh, busy doing. They came as part of, uh, uh, they came from strength. And they came because uh, these Arab nations, these, so to speak, moderate Arab nations or Sunni Arab nations, need allies and they need strong allies in the Middle East to confront Iran and the Shia mm -hmm. uh, Shia front so uh, that's the, that was maybe the main reason it's not because just they want peace and love but and you can add on that all the other issues of strong economy and etc so uh, I don't think that the way of saying all the time no we're weaker it's the palestinians that are bad and they're hurting us i mean i even if it's true i don't even think I mean, that's a good argument yeah that's not a good argument yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly like... because first of all nobody cares second <laughs> um even if they do care the people that try to portray us as the bad people hurting young kids in the streets uh, just because we're evil i, th I think that they, it, they don't care. They just hate us because they hate us. I mean, right. Yeah. It's not going to change. Exactly. I think. And if you're looking at the, at the, the mass um, opinion of the, the 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 opinion of the masses in the Western countries, um, I'm sure most of them don't really care. I mean, it's they care when there's something. Um, big when something very big happens that's why I I mean I think that our politicians um, don't need to be focused so much on what's going uh, on what people other countries think I think that they do it when they can use it as a leverage for instance uh, that was kind of what I wanted to get to next, actually, is, you know, we have the Shirin Abu Akleh yeah. scandal. And now, obviously, the Department of Justice in the United States is getting involved with yeah. their FBI investigation. What, what do you make of the world's fascination with Israel, their uh, obsession, really, in many cases? Well, it's also from internal reasons, I'd say, because you have... A branch in the Democratic Party that, uh, like a s small branch, that needs to be fed with some anti-Israel stuff. Uh, correct me if you think uh, I'm wrong, but that's my genuine opinion. 
and I think that it's just like a way of shutting people up. Uh, I don't think that anyone really cares uh, in the States genuinely of what happened to Shayna Buckley. I think that they were very happy to see what happened. Those that want investigation, they were very happy with what happened to her because it's another kind of way excuse. of them to, to, to like win the, the battle. Mm -hmm. uh, the media battle of how Israel is evil, etc. So I, I, I think that if, if I were to determine what we do with that, um, I don't think that Israel should cooperate uh, in terms of... It doesn't sound like we're going to either. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's still a sovereign country. Right. Um, I think that our country has very close ties with the United States and it's good to have to, to remain like that but um, uh, on the other hand I don't see the American authorities enabling uh, the Israeli police in, to investigate something on American soil um, just because an Israeli was involved and I think it should be the other way around as well now i know many people will say uh oh, yeah but we have support uh, etc yeah that's true but it's all part of the bilateral uh relations between the countries and uh, i'm quite sure that if america uh, if the united states of america didn't see any advantage with uh, having these bonds they wouldn't have Mm. I mean, I mean, if we're we're not in the 40s anymore, we don't have these uh, these conspiracy theories of the, like the grand jury are are not something that uh, I you know I, I I hear it from anti-Israelis uh, all the time that um, uh, yeah, Israeli. Jews of America can uh, force America to give uh, billions of dollars. You know, you know. This, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, because the canard that we own yeah, the world yeah, somehow. Yeah. 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 So we're, I think. Yeah, some people may think like that, but uh, we're not there. So uh, the reason for our bonds is not just because uh, there are some Jews in America or many Jews in America. Right. <laughs> That's not the reason. I think Israel is a stronghold of the Western world in the Middle East, and everybody knows that. So, Shina Akle, okay, she was a journalist. Maybe she was hit by this side, maybe she was hit by that side. Obviously, nobody wanted her to be hit on purpose, yeah. so... Like, what's the big deal? Yeah, it happened. Yeah, it, she was in a war zone. I mean... Uh, I mean, it's tragic, and I think nobody's denying that is the thing. Is like you know, Israel even taking the blame is saying like, okay, it, ha it like you said, it happened, but it's in no way intentional. Like, who the hell? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Would want that? And exactly. I mean, the, <laughs> it's so it's so nonsense to think it was intentional because what would? What's the what, benefit? Yeah, yeah, what's the benefit? We just suffered from that. So obviously, it gave us nothing. Mm -hmm. It gave the IDF nothing, it gave Israel nothing. So, yeah, let's say they did it. Okay. So, I mean, she was in a war zone. Right. right. She was in the middle of battle. And she was uh, associated with the Palestinians. That's not, I mean, it's no secret. It's not that she uh, came, like, in between. She was on their side, covering their side. And, yeah, just like... Many other journalists around the world were uh, unfortunately killed or injured, and uh, during uh, you know battle, uh, covering battles, and even in the Ukraine recently, and um, th things happen. I, I mean, it's not something that I'm happy about or proud of, but um, I think that uh, not the IDF. The, the IDF is and Israel is not the reason that these battles happen right now, uh -huh. in, in my opinion. Uh. What do you think, uh, 
All right, well, let's let's get a little bit into the coalition. Yeah. What do you? Th- how long do you think it'll take before we're done and we have a government? I think it will take a while. I think it will it will take maybe another one or two weeks at least. And do you think people will need like an extension, or you think we'll he'll get think, it done be t- before the twenty eight days? I think he will try to avoid that, but he will get an extension automatically from the president so there won't be I mean President Herzog is very different from his predecessor from Rivlin yeah. in what way um, I mean I, I think most people would agree with you but what do you mean he's a lot more um, he's not biased he's not one-sided he's not uh, he's not he doesn't involve he's, he doesn't interfere in politics, in my opinion, I think he, the reason he is like that is because I mean he had his own things to say on the sidelines, which have leaked and yeah, yeah, of course uh, the leaks were on purpose. I'm quite sure about you that. You think so? Yeah, I mean, I know, uh, I know the spokes, the, the spokesperson and the spoke team of, uh, of uh, the media team of uh, President Herzog. They're professionals. I mean, there's no way that it would have leaked just like that and you didn't know or didn't notice. <laughs> uh, it's his way. You know, a president should be above politics and it's just his way to, to, to express his opinion without expressing it. And it's fine and it's part of the game as long as he doesn't do it, you know, every week or so. So uh, mm. I think it was okay. Um, but... It's nothing like Rivlin. I mean, Rivlin interfered every, every... You really think so? Yeah, 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 yeah. And on record. He didn't hide his opinion. And I think that's why he was quite hated by half of the people of this country. I mean, let's be frank. He wasn't... A president should be someone that the majority or the, consen- the consensus of the people... Um, should be in favor of, or at least feel that he he represents them. Mm. And it's true about Herzog. It wasn't true about Rivlin. And I think many people in this country were happy that he was not president anymore. Hmm. So uh, that's a big difference. I think it's it's so interesting because I know among Olim who maybe don't understand as much as the native Israeli, I think he was much more well liked. Why do you think that is? Well, maybe because he made such an effort uh, to be liked by them uh, in their uh, media channels, I guess. I don't have another explanation. I I mean, I think that Rivering, because he came from the right wing or even the extreme right, right wing initially as a politician, he made a big effort to show that he's like clean... Uh, on the other side mm. and it went he went too far with that interesting and Herzog doesn't have this these issues I mean we all know he came from the left wing it's no secret and nobody thinks he's a right winger but he knows how to represent everybody and or the majority and I think he will get that it all all this discussion about him beca- began with us uh, with the issue of um, the extension so mm-hmm. I think he will give an automatic extension but I think uh, BB I will mean wouldn't try to avoid that because if he gets to the the extension period later on he needs to to get to the um, Uh, I didn't want him, and I think that's a problem in this country when everybody knows what the president wants. Mm. It's one thing that you can guess, and the other thing is to know. To know, yeah, it's a very different thing. Well, on that note, I think I'm about done. Really? Really. Goodness. I'm just, I, I've been working on it. You know, some of these take an hour. I think we're good. We, we 
coming in at just under like just under a half hour right now. Wow. And I, you know, I, it's not bad. I like it. It's, you know, it's the fun of these is that it's trying to capture a likeness while the likeness is moving, mm-hmm. which is certainly a challenge, but it, but it adds to the character. And yeah. I, I like it. I think it's fun. And I'm just about done. I just want to add a one little touch of red and orange in here. Red and orange. Yeah, the, the uh, makeup girl before said that um, uh, my skin is more of a yellowish type. I didn't think about it <laughs> before. Leave it, leave it to the makeup artist to notice <laughs> these things, yeah. I think and that is... Yeah, I'm just adding some like highlight kind of looking things for fun. And got to sign it. Of course. Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> I need a diet. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No, you look great. Thank you very much. You look great. Amazing. Uh, it's amazing. I really, really, really appreciate that you sat down with me today. Thank and I'm so, much. so happy that, that, uh, that you're here. Um, it was wonderful. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Aaron. It's a pleasure. Jonathan Oz.